Tokia Yanaleo, mi yan kekan san, mi wile pana es sona pitoki pona. Hey everyone, I'm Greg Dan3, and today I'm gonna teach you about Toki Pona. Today we're gonna be talking about interjections, all the different ways you can say something with Toki Pona that don't involve a complete sentence. Now, there's not gonna be very many new words today, so let's get through those real quickly. Starting with. Ah. Ah is drawn with a line pointing straight up, a symbol like the letter A, in kind of an exclamation point shape. And it's spelled A. Ah is an exclamation, excitement, or a way to emphasize things. It doesn't have a meaning of its own, or at the very least, the meaning it has is very contextual. We'll get into how it works very soon. The next word we have is... Big old circle here. Two ears on the left and right. A dot in the middle. That's moo. M U. Moo is any kind of animal sound. And I really do mean any. Cows go moo, but so do birds and dogs and lizards and fish. If it makes a sound and it's an animal, it moos. In fact, there are some things that aren't animals that moo. You could think a robot would moo. Lastly, we have Kalama. Drawn with three lines overhead, a mouth shape, and that's spelled K-A-L-A-M-A. -A -A. Kalama has to do with all kinds of sounds. The sound of a voice is Kalama, just as well as the sound of a plate breaking or the sound of a car horn. It's all Kalama. Now that's it for our content words this lesson. We're going to spend this lesson looking at all the different words we can turn into new useful tools by using them as interjections. Now to start with, we actually know a couple of interjections already. We know Toki. Reminder that it's T-O-K-I. Toki has to do with speech or conversation. And as an interjection, it means hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good evening, good morning. Any sort of greeting. And that's the first interjection we learned. Here's another one we know. We could say, Yan o. And that's our second interjection. You can use the word o together with a subject right before to get that subject's attention. And it doesn't have to be a complete sentence. We could have Yan o and then a separate complete sentence after it. We could say, Sinapona. Yano Sinapona. So this is an interjection and Toki is an interjection. So let's look at a bunch of other interjections starting with ah. So as I mentioned before, ah doesn't really have a meaning on its own. Kind of like the other particles, but it also doesn't do anything to a sentence. It's just ah and you use it to express your feelings. So as a modifier, it makes the thing it modifies more intense, kind of like the word very in English. And then as an interjection, it works like a lot of wordless responses like um or oh or ah, you know, all those different things you can do in English that are ways to tell the person you're speaking to that you're still listening. Now, since ah can be used so many different ways, we'll look at a few examples to get a feel for it. We have the sentence me, comma, Yo e lipu a. And then in response, some second person comes along and says, ah. And this could be something like, I got an exciting book. I got a really cool book. And then the second person goes, oh, or wow, or nice, right? Ah here stands for basically anything in the instance of the second person. It's some sort of acknowledgement of the first person's statement. And this first person, when they use ah as a modifier on lipu, all they're saying is they're excited about the lipu. It's something that's important or interesting to them. But ah isn't only used for excitement. It can also be used for sad situations. Let's look at another example. We could say, Soeli mi li weka ah. And then our second person says, ah, soeli mi li weka ah. 
Ah. Uh. And so this exchange is something like, Oh, my dog ran away. And the second person goes, Oh. As if to say, I'm sorry, but without any particular words to it, right? And then, I can be used just to say, Hmm, or, uh, let's have a look at that. One person could say, Mi sona ala a e toki sina. Mi sona ala a e toki sina. And then the second person says, Ah, or maybe, ah. So this first person is saying, I don't understand what you're saying. And the second person says, ah, let me think about that. Let me figure out how to fix this. What we're seeing here is that ah, first off, can be used as a modifier. It can be used as an interjection. And it doesn't mean any one concrete thing. It can be used in all sorts of different ways. It's just, like I said, a way to express yourself. Now, here's the thing. The tone you express yourself with is important, and for that matter, not everyone's tone will be the same when they're speaking. But so long as you keep an open mind and you think carefully about what's going on in the conversation, you'll get a good idea of what is meant when somebody goes, ah, or maybe, ah. Now, one quick little note before we move on. Sometimes you'll hear speakers go, mm, or maybe you'll see when writing a couple consecutive letter ins instead of ahs. Now, you may be wondering what that is. This comes from a separate word. That word is mm. It's drawn with a similar shape to ah. We have our exclamation point like shape, but the letter at the bottom is now in instead. And of course, it's spelled in. Now, not everybody agrees that this is a word. I would consider it ah, but more specific. But you will see this around, and it's basically the same as um or uh in English. So, you know, be aware, that's a thing. Now we're gonna move on to a specific category of interjections. Now, for the purpose of these lessons, I've called them all alikes. And that is because they're similar to instructions given with o, but without o. You could also call them well wishes, and we'll see why in just a moment. Let's look at one of these. Tawa Pona, or Musi Pona. Now what happens here is that your O alike is some instruction, often followed by Pona. And you'll see these in the context of, hey, I'm headed out, I'm leaving, it's a goodbye. So first person says, me Tawa, that's I'm leaving. And then the second person says, ah, Tawapona, have a good trip. Now, the reason I call this an O alike is because it's basically the same as if you put O right there at the front. This would be an instruction, O Tawapona, which is still have a good trip, right? They're basically interchangeable. And the same applies to the second one. In Musipona, we're basically saying, have fun, have a good game. And the same applies again, where we could include O, and we have basically the same idea. So if you're the person leaving, you say mitawa, they say tawapona, and everybody else is staying behind to play a game. You might say musipona, or O musipona, have a good game. Now, of course, this isn't the only way to do it. You'll see something like this used very similarly to thank you in English. You could see Pona Tawa Sina. Pona Tawa Sina. That is, goodness go to you or goodness upon you, right? It's a little bit hard to translate, let's say. But this is often used, like I said, in the place of a thank you. Not, of course, the only way to say thank you, but one of many ways. And if you wanted to insert O into this one, well, it doesn't go at the front. It actually goes right here between Pona and Tawa. Pona o tawasina, which is an instruction to Pona, hey, goodness go to you. Goodness should be yours. And so you can see why I would call these well wishes, because oftentimes they include Pona in some way. It's a way of saying, hey, I love you. You're fantastic. Keep doing fantastic things. Pona tawasina, all of that. 
Now, I described the exchange before, where this would appear in a conversation, but let's look at that all written out and see what that kind of feels like in Tokipona. So, we said before, one person says, Mi, Tawa, that is, I am leaving. The second person says, Tawapona. And then the first person says, Ah. And then they say, Awenpona. And so this whole exchange all together is, Mi Tawa, I'm leaving. Tawapona, have a good trip. And then, ah, an acknowledgement of that. And then, Awenpona, stay well. Be comfy while you're staying. Obviously, this exactly doesn't really translate into English, but you could see something like this in English. For example, if somebody were to say, hey, I'm headed out. And then the second person says, all right, see you later. And the first person now says, yeah, see you. It's the same idea. You know, you're headed out. You're going to see each other again later. You wish the best on your friend. So those are all likes and well wishes, but it's not all of them. Some of them you could use as a joke. I really like uh, Molipona when I beat somebody in a video game. And then you'll often see around Palipona, like, hey, have a good work day or do good work. Again, this is not all of it. This is just the surface of what is possible with these kind of constructions. So experiment, try new things. Now we're gonna clear that. And we're going to move on to the largest category of interjection in all of Tokipona. So most other interjections are entire specific words. Their meaning as an interjection comes from what the word normally means. So while we saw that ah can be used for pretty much any feeling, words like sona, wawa, and musi can express specific feelings. So let's write those out. Sona. That could be something like, ah, I understand, or oh, I get it. Somebody says, ah, sona. Or maybe wawa. Wawa is often used to express amazement, like, wow, you did a good job at that, or wow, that was incredible. Wawa. And then you have musi, which can be used in a similar way to laughter. Ah, musi. Yo, that's pretty funny. So this entire category of word is pretty similar to saying something like ni, li, and then whatever word you fill in here, or maybe pilin, mi, Li, and then again, whatever word you fill in there. These aren't cut and dry. It's going to be a little bit different every time. It won't always fit in these categories, but often an interjection fits into one of these. So if I say wawa, that's a little bit similar to saying ni li wawa. This is powerful and this is incredible. Or maybe if I say musi, pili mi li musi. My feeling is entertainment. I'm feeling funny, funny in a humorous way. And of course, all of these interjections can be used to respond to simple statements in a conversation. So let's look at a bunch of different ones of these and a statement to go with it. Let's look at our first example here. Let's say we have o pali e ni from the first person. The second person says ah, and then mi pali. And then lastly, the original person says pona. Here's our Pona interjection. And in this conversation, let's go line by line. O pali e ni is something like, hey, go create this, go work on this. The second person acknowledges it with ah, they're like, ah, yeah, sure. And then they confirm with a statement, mi pali. Yeah, I'll do that. And then finally, the first person again says, Pona, hey, great, thank you so much. Pona interjection is used to express that something is good. It's used to say something similar to great, cool, or nice in English. Next, we have mi ken ala kute e yan poka tan kalama suli. Ike. Mi ken ala kute e yan poka tan kalama suli. Ike. Ike interjection right here is used to express that something is bad, negative, unpleasant, something you didn't want to happen, usually to express your dislike for something. So going back to the statement, mi ken alakute, I can't hear a yan poka, a person next to me, tan kalamasuli, because of big sound. And then a separate statement, 
Ike, Ike, mi kena la kute e jan poka tan kalamasuli. Ike. I can't hear somebody next to me because it's too loud. Ah, this sucks. So that's how Ike is used as an interjection. Next, we have mi weka e lipu sona mi. And then pakala. Mi weka e lipu sona mi. Pakala. Pakala interjection is a little bit similar to saying, ah, crud, or oh no, or oops, in English. It's like saying, oh, something bad just happened. That was a mistake. That wasn't good. Mi weka e lipu sona mi is something like, I lost or maybe threw away my textbook or my research paper, or some knowledge document. And understandably, that may have been pretty bad idea because that document might have been important. Pakala. I didn't mean to do that. That was a mistake. So that's how pakala works. Next, we have musi interjection. Now, hold on for a moment. This is going to be a little bit involved. Let's say we have yan tomo li toki e ni mi pana ala tawa Yan pi tawa tempo. Yan pi tawa tempo li tawa tomo pi telo nasa. Now, I said that was involved. So let me back up. Add our little musia at the end here. And we'll see why that's funny in just a second. As I translate. Yan tomo li toki en ni. A bartender says this. Mi pana ala tawa yan pi tawa tempo. That is, I don't serve time travelers. Yan pi tawa tempo li tawa tomo pi telo nasa. A time traveler, yan pi tawa tempo, walks into a bar. And so this is a bartender joke, and I am kind of forced to explain it. The normal bartender joke starts with somebody walking into a bar, but in this case, we've set up the joke backwards because... A time traveler walked into the bar later than he was in the bar. Ah, uh, Musi, that's hilarious. That's so good. Anyway, maybe that was a bit much, but the Musi interjection is used to express, oh yeah, that's funny. That's hilarious. And just so we're clear, it does mean it legitimately, even if this is one of the more dry jokes you've heard in your life. Now, let's take a little break from the long involved ones and do sui. We could say kala ni li sui ah olukin. And then our second person says ah sui. And so this is a pretty simple one. The first statement is hey, this fish is really cute. Look at it. And then the second person says, Ah, it is cute. Ah, adorable. So sui interjection is an expression about how something is cute or soft or sweet. The same way as sui normally is. All right, let's look at another one. Mi suli e kulupu kasi mi lon tempo lili taso. Mi suli e kulupu kasi mi lon tempo lili taso. And then the second person says, Wawa. Wawa ah. So the first statement here is something like, Mi suli e kulupu kasi mi. That is, I grew, I made big my kulupu kasi, my group of plants, so maybe a garden, lon tempo lili taso in only a little time. I grew a really big garden in only a little time. And then your listener says, ah, wah, wah. That's really impressive. Amazing, good job. Next, we have Sina Ken Kepiken Ilo Ni Tawa Pali Tomo. And then the second person says, Sona. So this first statement is something like, you are able to use this tool for building homes. 
And so the person who is listening now says, Sona. Oh, I get it. I understand. Now, Sona can also be used to express that something is itself knowledgeable. So if I were to describe, oh, here's a particular way I teach, you could say, Sona. Or you could even say, together, ah, Nasin Sona. Brilliant method. All right, just a few left. Let's say we have Pilin mi li musi a tan telo ni. And then the second person says Sama. Pilin mi li musi a tan telo ni is something like My feelings are funny in a humorous way because of this liquid. Hmm, suspicious liquid. And then our second person says, oh, same. Now you can imagine this coming up, say, at a bar. If you had two strong drinks, whoops, having a little bit too much fun there. Your first person says, oh, I'm feeling great because of my drink. And the second person says, oh, same. Sama. Works in the way of saying, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing or I'm feeling the same thing. All right. Next, we have Sinatoki. Lon tenpo suli. Sina ken lili e tenpo toki. And then our second person says, Lon. Now we know lon to have to do with truth or existence. As an interjection, it means something like, yeah, that's true. So in this case, our first person says, Sina toki lon tenpo suli. Sina ken lili e tenpo toki. That's something like, you spoke for a long time. You can reduce, you can shrink the time you're speaking. Maybe if you're trying to bring down the length of a presentation. And then the person who is listening, they say, yeah, that's true, lon. Now, in a similar vein, you could imagine this being sona as well, as in, oh, I understand. Or it could also be pona. As in, oh, that's a good idea. So that's actually an important note. A lot of these interjections overlap in use. Pona and lon can both be used to positively acknowledge a statement, especially one like this. But they don't mean the same thing. They just happen to both be usable, depending again on the feelings of the speaker. All right, now we have a rapid fire round. We have moo. Isn't it adorable? Mu is Tokipona's animal sound. And if a speaker says it as an interjection, it just tells you the speaker's having fun. Ah, Mu. And then here's a bunch of other interjections. Suli, ah. Oh, this thing is huge. Or maybe Lili. Ah, Lili, Lili. It's so small. Mute, mute. Oh, there's so much of this. You could have Celia, oh, it's so hot. Or, Letea, it's really cold. There's Yaki, oh, this is gross. Or, Nasa, man, that's weird. I wasn't expecting that. Or, hmm, Ken, yeah, that's possible, maybe. So, in the right context, Pretty much all of Tokipona's words can become good interjections, can mean something outside of being in a full sentence. Experiment with it. Try lots of different things. You'll find really cool ways to use all these different words in a conversation. All right, now we're going to do a couple of sentences. So let me write this one out. Akasi li mu o mu tawa ona. And then... Our group says, Moo, moo, moo. So the statement here is, Akasi li mu o mu tawa ona. And then, Moo, moo, moo. So a group of friends is out at the zoo, enjoying the sights and the sounds of critters racing through their spaces and making all sorts of noise. You walk through the reptile enclosure, and most of the snakes and frogs are quiet, but one croaks loudly, and one of the group says, Ah, Akasili Mu, Omu Tawa Ona. And then everybody in the group suddenly starts going, Moo Moo Moo. 
Now isn't that a lovely and adorable one? Let's try another one. Mi, Kama, Sona, Kepiken, Ilo, Suli, Tawa, Lon, Tomo, Pali. And then the second person says, Sama. And then the original person says, Ah, Wawa. So context wise, let's say at work, your friend has been working hard to get forklift certified. They've taken test after test, practiced for forever and finally made it. But what they didn't know, you've been working on your certification too. And somehow you both reveal at the same time, Mikama Sona Kepikin Ilo Suli Tawa Lon Tomopali. Ah, Sama! Ooh, Wawa! So, all together, that is, I learned how to use Ilo Suli Tawa, a forklift, a big moving tool, Lon Tomopali at work. And then our second person says, Hey, same! Sama! And then the original person says, Ah, Wawa! Whoa, that's incredible! All right, another sentence. Mi, Ken, Ala, Awen, Musi. Mi, O, Tawa, Pali, Lon, Tempo, Suno, Kama. So that statement is Mi, Ken, Ala, Awen, Musi. Mi, O, Tawa, Pali, Lon, Tempo, Suno, Kama. And then our second person says, Ah, mi sona, palipona. So this first one, mi kenala awen musi, mi o tawa pali, lon tempo suno kama. And then the second one, ah, mi sona, palipona. Context wise, let's say you've been playing games with your friends for a couple of hours, but at some point you realize it's really late in the night. You need to go to sleep soon because you've got work in the morning. You find a comfortable spot to take a break in the game, and then you let your friends know. Ah, mi ken ala awen musi. Mi o tawa pali lon tenpo suno kama. I'm sorry, I can't keep playing. I have to go to work tomorrow. And then your friend says, Ah, mi sona. Hey, I understand. Pali pona. Have a good day at work. All right, one more. Yan, polka, mi, li, Pilin Ike Lili Tan Ni Ona Li Musi Lon Tenpo Suli Ah And then our second person says Ah Ona O Kama Pona And then the original person says Mi Pilin Sama Ona O Pona So context wise You come into work early one Monday but your friend didn't make it in and you're not really sure why. You message them and they explain, oh, I was up playing games for so long that I got sick. You feel a little bad, but you can't help but laugh at the same time. And then you explain to your other coworkers over lunch. Ah, yan poka mi li pilin ike lili tan ni. Ona li musi lon tenpo su a. Translating that, yan poka mi, my friend, Somebody beside me. Lipilin Ike Lili, feeling a little bad. Tan ni, because of this. Forgot an interpunct in there. This is a separate sentence. Tan ni. Ona limusi lon tempo sulia. They uh, played games for a really long time. One of the other people at the table says, Ah, ona o kamapona. Hey, I hope they get better. And then the original person says, Mi pilin sama. Ona o pona. Hey, I feel the same way. I hope they get better. All right, let's do the summary. So interjections are a way of speaking tokipona, a way of using words in tokipona that doesn't need to be in complete sentences. We already knew a few of these, like toki, but pretty much every word in tokipona, especially those that talk about feelings or about the properties of things, can be used as interjections to talk about the way you feel about things that are going on or about the world around you. It's something that requires a lot of experimentation, but trust me when I say it's really fun. All right, one other quick thing before we go. So I haven't done this yet with my series, but I wanna say 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for following along up to this point. There's only a couple of lessons left in the main series, and I'm really excited to finish this up. It's going to be a really exciting new year for Tokipona and for this channel. Now I've got to do the YouTuber thing, so like, subscribe, hit the bell, but most importantly, if you'd like, check out my website at mun.la. That's moon.la. If you want to find more content, here's the place to go. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good one. Tawapona.